Hi guys, today we are going to discuss science primary checkpoint revision notes. Our topic today is scientific inquiry. It is consists of ideas and evidence, plan investigative work, obtain and present evidence, consider evidence and approach. So today's topic, scientific inquiry, is part of Cambridge Primary Science Curriculum outlined. Therefore, this is the last topic we will discuss. In our previous video, we have discussed chemistry, biology, physics, and today is scientific inquiry. Let's get started. Scientific inquiry. Well, it gets started with scientific method. First thing is a question. We ask a question that can be answered by an experiment. And the first step, next step is we form a hypothesis. What is hypothesis? Is an educated guess about what the outcome will be. So first is question. Number two is hypothesis. Number three is in scientific method, we have step three is we gather materials. We bring supplies necessary for experiment. Step four in scientific method is procedure. We form a step-by-step -step process to carry out the experiment. Next step is result. We record what happened during experiment. And the last step is conclusion. We form a statement based on the result. So we repeat again, scientific method consists of question, hypothesis, gather materials, procedures, results, and conclusion. To do science experiments, we need scientific equipment. So we start from gloves to protect hands. This is gloves, and then next will be filter paper. This is the most common one filter paper to filter the liquid from undissolved solid. The next will be uh, balance to measure the mass. And next will be a microscope to examine things closely. And next will be thermometer to measure the temperature. Well, next will be stopwatch to measure the time. After that, it will be measuring tape to measure the height or length. Now we have to plan the experiment so it will be a fair test. And the result will be reliable. So we have to remember this cows move softly. Cows mean C for change one thing only at a time. Mu is for measure something softly as is for keep everything else the same. It will be control variable. Based on that, we'll have the term called independent variable is what we change in the experiment. Dependent variable is what we observe. And control variable is what we keep the same. Don't forget this. Independent, independent, dependent, and controlled. What does it mean by independent, dependent, and control variable? Example. We want to do experiment with plants. We have three pots here. And what we want to change is the amount of water. The amount of water we want to change. So that is the independent variable, the one that we change. This one we put little water. This is medium water. This is a lot of water. Now, after that, we will observe the change, the variable affected by the change is the, we can see there's size of plant, number of leaves, living or dead. So this is what we call as dependent variable, the, the size of plant. It is dependent on how much water applied to the plant. And here we can see that when it is applied with little water, it has two leaves medium size medium amount of water it will be grow well and abundance of water it will die because too much of water is not good for the plant now we will have one more thing in the experiment what we change is the amount of water what we observe is the size of plant and 
what we keep the same is we call as control variable in this case we control the temperature so we put all the three ports at the same room it means same temperature type of plant we use the same type of plant same size of plant which is same size and we use same type of soil that will be control so our test will be a fair test now we have some keywords in this topic that will be hypothesis is what you think will happen in a particular test or your prediction dependent variable or dv is what we measure in that experiment is we measure the uh, size of plant how tall is the plant now independent variable is what we change in the previous experiment is amount of water is what we change now control variable is what we keep the same in the previous experiment is we keep the same temperature same type of plant same size of plant and same type of soil reliability is a test is reliable if the results are the same if the same test is repeated accuracy a test needs to be measured accurately use decimal places and record observation in details validity a test is valid only if it is able to address the question or problem being investigated after the experiment we collect the data and we can put the data in a tally example is time morning and how many uh, how many times happen so we put in tally this is an example of how we collect the data next we have to represent the data uh, you use graph we use graph so it will be clear to the reader in here we use line graph you can also use bar graph or any type of suitable graph this is day and this is the uh, number of animals now how to analyze data and draw conclusion so we observe the data by seeking patterns or trends so we can get some conclusion we see in here from the graph amount of light that passes through the burn material in this experiment is displayed in a bar graph this is the different material so we can see the patterns or trends from the graph well step one we organize the data like we construct the graph in here so we can see the pattern or relationship between the data or the variables that we change this is what we change and the variable that we measure step two we identify the pattern or relationship in the data step three we explain the pattern or relationship using science concept now how to analyze the data analysis the graph shows the amount of light that passes through materials changes according to the type of material this is because more transparent or translucent the material is the more light can pass through it that is our analysis so from the graph we can see we get the analysis that the more transparent the material is like plastic sheet is transparent compared to paper and the more amount of light can pass through that is our analysis now next is when we want to plot in a graph we have to decide which variable goes on each axis so in science it is conventional that we plot the variable that has been changed or the independent the independent variable as x axis or horizontal axis and the variable that has been measured or dependent variable as y axis now don't forget to put the graph titles and labels because it's important so the reader will understand what the graph is displaying about so we have to put the title in that is the effect of one variable on other variable that's how our title should be from that graph is the effect of material on the amount of light that passes through so this is the title of this graph so that's all for today about scientific inquiry uh, there's all the revision notes for scientific inquiry for science primary checkpoint revision so today we have discussed science checkpoint 
revision notes for scientific inquiry physics and well and also scientific inquiry is in all subject physics biology and also chemistry is for science all science topic and this is for science checkpoints preparation for science checkpoint with the paper code 0846 primary level please check links in the description click this link at the right bottom corner of this video if you open through susan hira channel youtube channel you will see all useful links that links you to the past paper per topic per year the latest and newest and most updated one don't forget to ring the bell so you will be the first to be notified when we release our updates like and share to anybody who might need it because it's free so today discussion is conducted by study petition online we cater for all this program write email to us if you have anything uh and so unsolved past paper and write in the comment section in susan hero youtube channel if you have any idea request or need some more information well bye bye and god bless you we hope that today's discussion will be helpful to you see you in the next video